Greetings and salutations, life and poetry fam. Welcome back to the channel with your boy, your host. You guessed it. I mean, you already know. It's Marcus T. This guy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to lay it out for you guys before I jump before I jump into this video. I got to lay this out, right? Um, I know I'm not on my normal recording, upload, re edit routine, whatever you want to call it. Or so it's been a lot going on. I'm trying to trying to finesse and finagle a few things. Um, some things are coming up. We got we got you. We got to take care of life first. You know, life got to come first. Uh, and stuff stuff like that, right? But I I don't want you guys to feel neglected. Not one bit. Not one bit. Y'all are family. We are. This is life and poetry. We are family here. We're family here, right? But you know, stuff happens. You got to finesse it. You got to. You, you gotta go with. You gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Stuff comes up. You gotta move stuff around, move some things over, make things fit. If they don't fit, push it out to the side. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm back. I guess I can say. Um, I, truth be told, I I I don't know. I I don't know. There's still a lot of stuff going on, but I'm gonna try to stay consistent with at least one to two up one to two. One or two, yeah, one or two uploads a week. Um, if I don't do that, if I don't get those out, um, forgive me. I'm I'm trying my best. I'm only human. I need a haircut bad. Like again, this is ridiculous. I'm definitely going, definitely going. But um, I'm gonna try to get those two out a week. Uh, we know that every Wednesday, that's I got my board right there, guys. Right, every Wednesday there will be a video um out. Sometimes it may come out Thursday, depending on how long it takes for me to actually edit and upload or whatever it may be. But it will be recorded every Wednesday, right? The record date, timestamp, wherever it was, whatever this will be somewhere down there somewhere. I'm um, so record it regardless on that Wednesday and um, edit it or whatever as best as I can. But um, yeah, so there's there's a lot of things going on, guys, and there are a lot of changes coming to the channel. Forgive me with the swivel, right? I'm still not used to the chair just yet. You know, I'm used to being stationary when I do my when I used to do the old videos. Excuse me. But now I got my little my little chair. I can swivel with it, swivel with it, swivel with it. Hey, I mean. Oh my gosh. Alright, so yeah. There are a few changes coming to the Life and Poetry um channel. Um uh, some new content is gonna come out. We, we're definitely sticking with what we got, you know, life, poetry. Things of, things of that nature with the discussions, poetry corner, all those great things are coming. Um, I want to dive more into the poetry side of things, so that is definitely coming. Um, outside of that, um, there are a few cosmetic changes coming to the channel. Um, we're gonna. We're, I'm trying to fancy this, you know, so we can I can make it look you know appeasing to you guys. Um, Cause I got got to keep up with the standard, right? If, if I, I'm a set of standard, I got to stick with it, right? And it's about evolving and growing, right? That's all life and poetry. That's all life and poetry is about evolving and growing, right? And I can't stay stagnant here, if that's what my purview is. I, if if the concept is to grow and evolve, then the channel has to do so as well. Um, as you guys see, the the new logo is up and pushing. Um, uh, I got the new banner for YouTube and things like that. So we're, we're going to, it's little cosmetics like that, that, that shows, you know, growth and progress, you know, and it may not be as grand that you see these big YouTubers got, or these, um, even the, the smaller YouTubers got, you know, that's not me. I, I, if I get there, I get there. If I don't, I don't. Uh, my, my, my goal is to just drop quality content. Um, even if like I'm doing now, recording from my phone. If that's what I got, that's what I'm gonna give to you guys. I'm gonna give it to you guys as best as possible, with as great quality as possible that I can do with what I have. Um, I do want to upgrade my camera sometime in the future. Um, I don't know when. I want to actually. I want to get an actual vlogging camera. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but like I was saying, I want to get an actual vlogging camera. But it's going. It's going to take time to get those things, you know. Um, but I'm working on. I'm working on a lot of different things here. Um, working on a lot of different things. I was talking to some some of my my uh, uh, friends who also do YouTube and they, you know, we, we threw some ideas at each other, you know, um, with just even with the intro, you know, just small things like that I want to try to do to grow and evolve, right? It's about, that's what it's about for me. We're going to grow and evolve. Um, even that little pause break you just saw there, 
grown and evolving, right? No matter who calls me, I'm on my phone. So I'm not on airplane mode. I'm not on do not disturb. Because you never know, I might get an important call may come through. I got to pick it up. Sometimes you do what you got to do, right? But um, but yeah, so we're going to grow and evolve with the channel here. And as we grow, I pray that you guys can stick with me. Um, as we, we just keep growing, with, as, it, as we grow within each other, right? Let's grow, let's evolve. Let's become or get to the place where we want to get to, right? Now, with all that being said, if you haven't already done so, right? Or if you're new here, if you're new here and not, if you are, see, I'm getting tongue tied. See, this is what's wrong with me. It's it's the lisp and everything else, right? Let me get comfortable, right? Here we go. Take two. If you're new here and have not already done so, or if you have been here before, just smash the subscribe button, right? Smash the subscribe button. Not subscribe. Subscribe button. <laughs> And become a member of the Life of Poetry family, brand, and team. And if you want to be notified every time we drop a new video here, smash that notification bell so that you can be, yeah, in that mix, right? I got, I'm got. i going to work that out. I'm going to work that out too. See, grow and evolve. Grow, evolve. We're going to work that out, right? We're going to work that out. Grow and evolve. Um, but yeah, all that's out the way, right? So you, you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, you know. Also, guys, do me a favor, guys. Give me your feedback on these videos. I don't want you to just like them or just view them. Like, let me know what you what you think I should change, what you think I should do different, or what do you actually want to see here on this channel um, so that I can, you know, do my best to make sure that that type of quality comes out. You know, I have a, a, a mindset of, okay, this is what I want to do, but if it's not appeasing or if it's not um, translating um, efficiently, then let's work together so we can make this a, a better um, a better experience for, for everybody involved, including myself. I'm all about growing. I'm all about learning. Also, if you guys have some, if you guys have any tips or so like that, let your boy know. I right? let your boy know. Um, and we'll, we'll make it do what it do. You know what I'm saying? We're going to make it do what it do. And whatever, and we're going to have a great time doing it. Um, even, even if you don't like the videos, let me know in the comments down below. Don't just give me a thumbs down. Let me know what you don't like about that specific video or even about the entire channel. If you got, just let it out right there in the comments, right? It helps me to grow as a YouTuber and even as um, a, a vlogger, a blogger, whatever label it may be, an influencer. I don't, I don't know if the labels now, a content creator. There's, there's a lot of labels for this here, but it helped me evolve and grow in, in that aspect as well. So now that you've done all that, right? I think it's like a good maybe fit about five, seven, ten minutes. Five, seven, ten, yeah, minutes in, in this intro here. But um, I just wanted to get that out to you guys before I jump into what I want to talk about today. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get comfortable in my chair. I'm going to get my little rock going. Get my rock going. Get my rock, rock, rock going. <laughs> yeah. Um, but actually, I'm going to lock this so I don't rock and lean back and knock up everything behind me too far. You know. But um, yeah, so today, 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 I want to talk about something uh a bit sentimental, right? I'm, I'm gonna take it back there. I'm gonna break down the walls today. I'm gonna let you guys in just a little bit in something here that's that's that was very important to me. Um, and I guess you already read the title, so y'all already know what it's about. I mean, I pushed past all this, right? Y'all read the title, y'all like, man, just talk about it. Let's get past this so I can just like, comment, share, and subscribe, right? And bring the members to the to the, you know, let's let's just get to what we're gonna talk about, right? <laughs> today, I want to talk about the um. Right, got, got you got the board. This, this is amazing. I'm gonna sidetrack this a little bit, right? This here, this board here, right? The calendar board, it literally keeps me on schedule. I might not keep the schedule, right? But at least I know I'm attempting something back there. I'm attempting something, right? I'm attempting something, but um, but I want to talk to you guys today, right? I'm sticking to the schedule, right? I'm sticking to the schedule, right? Today is the 20th of August, 20 August, right? Right there on the board up there, you can't see up, it's up in there somewhere, right there. I think, yeah, that's it right there. You can't see it. I'm not going to move the camera, but you can see it over there, right? You can act, look, it, I'm going to turn right before you a little bit, right? It's up in there somewhere, right? Up in there, a little bit up in there, yeah. But, <laughs> but I want to talk to you guys today about when I knew I was in love with my wife, right? With my wife. I'm not talking about nothing before her, none of that. That's, right now, for this discussion, that's ir irrelevant. I'm talking about with my wife when I found the, 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 the one that I'm now making my wife, right? I'm, I'm, I'm a married man now, you know, um, 
even though we don't have our papers, we're, I'll get into that in another video, right? We'll get into the, the actual marriage and all stuff in another video. But right now, let's talk about when I, Marcus T, this guy, realized that I was truly in love, right? Now, it's, it's a deep story for me. Um, it may not translate as well. You know, it's like one of the moments you like, you got to be there to understand the type thing. But I'm going to try to walk God down. Down memory lane, right? We're going back down memory lane, right? We're going to go back there a little bit. And, um, and yeah, so, right, so I'm going to take it back to, I I'm, I can give you the exact day, but I remember exactly what we were doing, right? Me and baby girl were, were in my room, and uh, I remember she was sitting on on the edge of my bed, right? She had this thing that she didn't want to actually get up all on the bed. I, it was a respect thing, I think, you know? Um, but some her mom said always you know, never go and like actually sit in somebody's bed like that. And I didn't have a chair in my room, so she sat on the edge of the bed, and we were having a conversation about something. And at this time, we were actually already like moving into, you know, us as as togetherness. She was getting more comfortable, so she would ease back into the bed, just lay down and take her naps and stuff like that. And we would just sit and talk, right? Um, and we were talking about something, and um, I remember I was like. Uh, so what about this, that, and the third, right? Trying to mold, you know, what I wanted to say. I'm, I'm not a talker person, like when it comes to having game, quote unquote, but I, I like to have a dialogue, open dialogue. Let's have this discussion. Let's talk about something deep and let's figure out where, where we stand together, right? And mind you, we're like in the beginning works of our relationship. So to have these deep conversations for me is profound. You know, um, I, I like to, let's that's, that's just jump right into it. Let's, let's figure this out here. I remember, cause I, I don't date with, with, um, for fun, um, I date with intention, um, or I dated with intention. I should say I can't. I'm I'm taken now. I'm off the market, right? I dated with intention, and my intention was okay. Let's let's gonna be it's gonna be uh, a thing here. Let's make this lifelong here, um, and let's see where life takes us from there. Um, and I remember we were we were sitting there talking about something, and um, and uh, I was like, "You hungry?" Right? That food. I be hungry a lot, y'all. So I'm sitting there. I'm like, you hungry? And she's like, yeah, let's go. Let's, let's go cook something to eat, right? And so she gets off the bed. I'm, I'm, a fa I'm fast forwarding through this here. I'm going to go forward and we're going to come back, right? We're going to come back, right? Um, so we, 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 we agree on what we're going to eat. And she says, come on. And she takes my hand and proceeds to pull me off the bed, right? Pause right there. Pause right there, right? If y'all know my situation, you know, ain't no just pulling me off the bed. I got to prep to stand up. I got to grab from the walker or whatever, whatever I'm going to walk with. At the time, I was still on the walker. Um, and so for just for me just to jump up and say, let's go, that, that was a no-no right there. My knees were not having it. My ankles was like, nah, bro. Like, nah, bro. You, uh, you, you, you pushing it just a little too much, right? You, you a little too excited, a little bit. Sit back. Ease yourself up. Take that step. Reach for that walker. Let's move out from there, right? So, play. We're going to move forward, right? Play. Um, I'm not adding those pause in place. We're not going to do that. We're just going to just note up and say pause. We, yeah, right. So, we, uh, I look at her and I'm like, whoa, 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 wait, wait. She's like, what's wrong, what's wrong? I say, babe, I, I need the walker. I can't just jump up like that. And she stops and says, oh my gosh, I forgot, right? Pause, right? Pause. Now, in that moment, right, her forgetting it was like, Okay, you know, this this new for her. This new, right? Like, like blah, blah, blah. And it's not like she forgot it. It's okay. She just didn't care about it. You know, like she literally just, again, it's new. She forgot about it, right? Also, that's what I thought, right? That's what I thought, right? Play, right? So I'm like, babe. I'm like, babe, I, I need the walker. We can, I can't really hop up like that um, and just move on without it at, at this stage right now. You know, I wasn't, I didn't learn how to walk the walls at that point just yet in the new apartment um, that we were living at the time. We had literally just moved in there in the other apartment when, when she and I met. So I didn't know how to, I didn't, I didn't have a comfortability with navigating in there without the walker, like walking, holding onto walls. And, and then the day I was like, grabbing like the doorknob and stuff like that to move through the hallways. It was, it was, it was an experience, but it was, it taught me a lot about persistency. Um, but yeah, so we, we she looks at me like, oh my gosh, I forgot. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And I'm like, it's cool. You know, it's nothing to be sorry about. And it's something to get used to. 
you know, um, cause it's a lot. You're dealing with a person with a disability, like that's, for one, that's a lot to take in. That's a lot to take in. Some people would be like, you know what, I can't do this. Um, we can be friends though, but to be like in a relationship like this, to, to grow with and build a life with, you know, some people would have backed out of that a long time ago, right? But she didn't, she stuck, she, we get married. She stuck with your boy, you know, three years. Um, it's been three years. It's, it's been three years. Dang, homie. It's been three years, yeah. This month, this month here made three years. Um, man, I'm not gonna cry. But you know, we had we had the conversation, and um, we I got the walker, and I went out, we made our food, and we came back, um, and we 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 continued the conversation, but we continued it about the walker and stuff like that, you know. And she simply told me that um, I don't see the walker when I see you. Um, she said, that's why I slipped her mind. She said she didn't see me with the walker. She saw me just walking, right? Um, and at that moment, I literally had a sit back smile moment, like, dang, like she really, she really, you know, like your boy, you know, like she don't, she don't use this as like this thing, like, okay, he, he limited, he can't do this, he can't do that. She was like, nah, like, nah, fool, we finna walk to this kitchen. Like, you don't need that. You know what I'm saying? It, it may not have came off that way, but when I processed it, that's what I got from it. And I was like, she like, and I was like, and together we was like, man, forget this walker. Let's walk out there. Let's, you know, let's walk through this house hand in hand. You know, you gonna help me walk. I'm gonna lean, lean on you for support while you lean on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what you do in a relationship. You lean on each other for support, right? And uh, I was like, she, like, yo, like, this is gonna be different here. You know, like, is, is this a thing? Like, is she just pushing it off? Like, she gonna push me to walk that thing? She gonna force this to happen? And then the good person, the good Marcus, so he was like, bro, let her push you. Like, this is what you need. You know, so you don't need nobody that's going to hinder you and hold you in this place of saying, look, you need this walker. You're going to need this for some time. You know, da 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 do. You know, she was like, nah, I don't see you with this walker. So my mind was like, basically, this jump got to go. This walker got to go bye bye. It got to go bye bye, you know, and that, that got to happen like that. And in that moment, I was like, yo, I went back to my mind. I was like, yo, baby girl, like, she really. She really feeling your boy, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like no, no fake foo fa fing fang, you know. Like she was really, she was into your boy, right? And that night she went, she had went home, whatever. And I sat on the side of the bed, and I was like, God, I was like, yo, I think I love her, right? Off, off that moment right there, you know. Um, I now I'm, I'm gonna say this here. I didn't tell her that at that moment. I didn't want to scare off whatever, you know. We're like, we were just new into our relationship, you know. I don't know, like, yo. I, I love you, let's get married type thing. Like that was, we was fresh out the, out the gate here. You know, we was trying to build that relationship there. You know, a lot of people get scared by that word love. Well, I love you. Those those uh, three words got so much weight on me, you know, and people people are so scared and timid to use them. But I was like, God, like I was actually talking to God. And I was like, God, like I brought up everything. Like I, I love this girl, you know, and um, and that it's true. Truth be told, I'm, I'm being transparent with you guys, a few days later, um, I was in prayer uh, about her and, and myself and about how, you know, this dynamic was going to be functional and how it was going to work, you know, me with a disability, me trying to push through this here and things like that. And God told me, that's your wife. And I was like, nah, man. I'm like, this men got literally talk. We literally talk like this. I'm like, nah, man, that's... That we we just try and build this relationship first. She's my wife and stuff like you, like you you, you going real far right now, God. God was like, that's your wife, and He sent me to to the to, to the to, to the uh, to the word right to, to the scripture. He who finds a wife finds a good thing, right? And I was like, so you telling me, right, that I found my wife? Like not necessarily in this moment, she's my wife, right? But like she's my wife. If that it it it's that do it make sense with y'all? Cause it it. it Almost cuss. It sure enough didn't make sense with me. The stuff did not. It, I was I was baffled, but I was like, I don't care. I can be dumbfounded all I want. This is my wife. This is my wife. I'm gonna treat her as such right now, you know. And in preparation for today, you know, and all that it played like I was just I I was so stuck and shocked that I'm like, how can you even like a person, you know, like me? I'm dealing with all these things. I I can barely walk. Um, I, I need help getting it at the top at the time. I need help get, still get in and out of the tub, um, getting my food fixed in the kitchen, carrying it from one place to the next. And she was like, 
I, I got you. She literally was like, I got this here. Like, let me know what you need and, I, and I'm gonna help you get it done. I'm not gonna always do it for you, but I'm gonna help you get it done. I'm gonna sit back while you do it yourself so that you can learn again how to do it yourself. You know, it was truth be told, it was because of her, I took the first four steps without my walker. You feel what I'm saying? For It was her who pushed me to that point, but like, look, you got to, like, we building a future here. Like, you can't be like this with your kids. And I was like, yeah, but, and she was like, nah, ain't, and like, she didn't say it like this, but my, 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 I received it like that. She was like, nah, but you ain't no but in this situation. You gotta get yourself together because we, we building this thing here and you gonna walk. Now that you gotta walk, like she wasn't pushing me that way. Like you, you gotta do this or I'm gone. She's like, you're, you're going to walk. Like she spoke it into existence for me, even when I didn't want to do it for myself. I've had breakdowns, meltdowns, flashbacks. Um, uh, I had, had um, uh, uh, now PTSD from what happened with the fall and all these things. I, it was a lot going on with me at the moment in, in that time. And I was just a broken mess. I was just done with everything, everything. And then she came into my life and I was like, I got something to live for now. I got something to hold on to now. You know what I'm saying? And it was in those moments that I was like, okay, this love is just building, it's building, it's building. And the more time we spend with each other, you know, no matter the, the disagreements or the arguments we had, you know, um, it, it's like molding us for for longevity in my mind. It's, it's, it's helping us build this armor around us. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we gonna, we may fall short sometime, but at the end of the day, um, you go to your corner, I, come to, I go to mine, we come back, we figure this out here. You know, although some stuff we may brush under the rug, I mean, that's, I guess that's human nature, but that's something I got, you know, that's, that's something that's, that's being worked on. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like my love for her supersedes any disagreement I may have with her. Like we may, we, we aren't always going to agree on everything that's a given. I don't want to always have that, that yes person in my corner. I want that person to tell me no every now and then again. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if I'm like, look, I'm about to jump off this building. You think I can fly? Like, don't be like, yeah, you know, God got you. Nah, you can't. You stupid. You ain't no bird. You ain't, no, you ain't got no wings. Like, you jump, you you gonna be done. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be that yes person all the time. And I hate to have to use that example because that's what's the most drastic thing that came to my mind just then. But I got the picture. You know what I'm saying? I got the, the concept of it all. Um, but like, I was like, in that moment, I was like, God, like, this is my wife. I know I love her. She don't see me with the walker. She don't, she don't, she doesn't, she has yet to label me with a disability. She said every doctor's appointment I have, like in like not even just come on, let's go. I'm gonna wait in the waiting room. No, she's in the like in the waiting room, um, in the, in the spot where I gotta talk to the doctor. She's in the mix of everything that I gotta get done. Like if that ain't love, I don't know what it is. You feel what I'm saying? She's the one who made sure that I'm um, um before I got my routine down with my medicine and stuff like that. She would call every morning, every morning like clockwork before she went to work, and was like, "You take your medicine? Did you eat?" Like that kept me. Like I was like, "You you." you doing for me what I what I need. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't just somebody. I, I didn't just want somebody in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I needed her to help me get to where I am today. You know what I'm saying? And that, that again, piled into that love aspect. I was like, yo, this love is it's just growing and growing and growing. So that's why I was just like, you know, forget it. Eh? We got two years in. You know what I'm saying? Let's make this let's make this official. Bada boom, bada bing. You gonna marry me? Yeah, yeah. You know, you do you like me? You gonna marry me? Check box. Yes or no? You know what I'm saying? I didn't actually slide on no paper. I should have did it. We could have took it back real retro, like back in the school. But, you know, we I made it official. I was like, look, I want you to be officially, officially be Mrs. Thomas. I want you to be my wife. You feel what I'm saying? I I, I didn't want to like procrastinate. That's one thing I would I did not want to procrastinate with, right? I had the courage about it. I had a mother's blessing. I had my fa my family backing me up. Uh, uh, I had I saved up the money for the ring. I paid for that myself. You feel what I'm saying? It ain't like no 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 crackerjack thing. I'm not flaunting anything. But like I, I hustled and got that thing done. What I need to get done, like I mean, hustled in a good way at that. You know what I'm saying? I, I was you know pushing my poems out. I'm saving money here and there. I had, I did what I had to do to get that ring for her. And I was like, look, this is the one here, and she loved it. She loves it. She wears it every day, but but faithfully. I remember one day she like she set her ring down and she had a whole freak out. Like she thought she lost the ring, and I was like, look. It's just a ring. She's like, no, it's a ring you gave me. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, that's that's my baby right there. You know, it's my baby girl. You know, and it's funny because like, I don't think I really called her by her name. Najee. Najee, right? Babe, I love you. I know you're going to watch this video. I love you so much. I rarely called her by her name. It's always Bay, Bay, right? Um, it's always one of the cute nicknames, right? When I met when we first met, I called her Puda. I, I don't know where it came from. It just stuck, right? Puda. Um... <laughs> But yeah, but that's like, 
if y'all don't know, like that's my partner in crime right there. You know, um, eternity, everlasting life. We gonna we gonna run this thing to the wheels fall off, and even then we gonna push the car. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I I'll push the car, baby. You just steady steady car. It's all right. It's cool. Um, but we, I'm. This is it here. You know what I'm saying? The, I dated with the purpose for this day. You know, we 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 linked up in church. And, and got acquainted with each other for a day like this, for, for such a day as this, right? For such a day as this here. Um, and I know that everything is going on around us right now. We can't be physically together because with the, the virus outside, so the wedding and stuff got pushed back just a little bit. But guess what? At the end of the day, no matter what, she's my wife. She's my wife. Um, from, I'm pushing, pushing mountains out the way. Whatever she need, I'm there. Um, Whatever I need, she's there. She finds a way to figure some stuff out for me, just like I do for her. Um, like I said, I lean on her as she, as she leans on me. That's relationships for you right there. And it ain't no 50-50 thing. You give 100, I'm going to give 100. And we're going to go full steam ahead with this thing here. There are going to be some obstacles in the road, some bumps, some bruises. But guess what? Together, we're going to be hand in hand. Locked. Locked. And, and that's on everything. We are locked. Can't okay? nothing... Nothing getting in the way of what we got here. Um, and that's beyond that. You know, I know God spoke over us. He gave us, God gave me the blessing to make this official. And he spoke a covering over our lives and over, over our relationship, over our marriage. But for me, it's like, it's like, it's there and above. It's it's everything in the mix of it all. Um, I can truly say that I, Marcus T, this guy loves her. Not J B, right? I won't say her whole name, right? Not J B, soon to be not J T, right? Um, I love her so much. I will move mountains for that, for, for for her. I I I, I will make a uh, uh, anything possible for her. I will literally give her the world and more. Um, that's my goal in, in this in this here in this relationship. Again, I'm not perfect. I, I don't plan to try to be perfect. I think people that try to be perfect do too much. That's not me. I'm flawed. Um, I have, I'm have i forever growing and evolving. That's what life is, right? We're forever growing and evolving, even in relationships. Um, and I, I plan to put everything into it. My best foot will always be forward. It's funny I say that, right? Because I got the walkers and the cane. But yeah, yeah, I can make the joke. I can make the joke, right? I'm going to always put that best foot forward, no matter how shaky it may be. I'm going to step down short-footed, and we're, we're going to keep pushing. But yeah, I truly love her. I love her so, so, so much. Like, it's so funny. Like, I remember I wrote a couple of poems for her. I'm, so I engaged, my engagement, my proposal was through a poem. Um, our first anniversary, I wrote her a poem. And it's like, now it's like, I'm dumbfounded for words because it's so much. There's so much that I want to articulate, but it's it just doesn't come out that way. The way that I have it here, it comes out like gibberish when I start to speak about it and like try to put it in like paper, you know. So I look forward to writing those vows again. I tell you that. And I'm glad I got more time because <laughs> I've been to like maybe draft them on like draft number thirty-seven with the vows. Um, but I may, you know. God may give me what to say that day, and my spirit may look. My spirit may be like, "Look, bro, just speak from the heart." And I may just do that, you know. But that day is sure to come. That day is sure to come, and when it comes, it's gonna be Mister and Missus Marcus T. <laughs> Those people. <laughs> but yeah, guys. So I'm sorry. I don't got a little sentimental. I got a little soft there just a little bit, uh, but. That's what it's about here, life of poetry. We're gonna talk about life stuff. This is my life here. I'm laying on the line for you guys. I'm gonna bring you guys to the fold as much as possible, as much as that we are willing to um, um, uh, let out there. And, and and I pray that you guys like what I'm doing here. I pray that you can get something from these videos here. Um, I also pray that you guys find, you know, the person you're supposed to be with, or would you say soulmates, if you don't already have them, if you do, I pray nothing but everlasting joy over you guys. I pray that you have peace in your relationships and 
uh, um, wealth, not just financially, but in love and, and, and spirit, emotion, all those good things. Um, yeah, it's, it's great. It's great to love somebody and know that they love you back. It's truly great to love somebody and know that they love you back. Yeah. It truly is. It's truly great to love somebody and know that they love you back. Yeah. Yeah. But guys, I'm in love. That's when I first found out I was in love when she told me that I don't see you with that walker. You're gonna walk. You're gonna walk. Yeah. So life and poetry fam. As always, it's been great talking to you guys. Um, if you made it this far and have not already done so, please remember to smash that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. Um, also share these videos here, help me grow the brand, help me grow the channel. We are pushing to get to 150 subscribers. Um, we are at 128 now. I'm gonna keep dropping content. You guys just keep coming back for more. As long as you come back for more, there'll always be something new here on this channel, Life and Poetry. Always will be something new, something great, something inspiring, something motivational, something poetic. You never know, you, you never know what you're gonna get here on whatever day it may be. You never know what you're gonna get. Um, but yeah. Yeah. It's been great life and poetry fam. As always, stay safe, be blessed, and until next time, peace.